Hello and welcome to Formula V at Alton Park. We're here at the island layout. And uh, I just got back from a very magical race at Martinsville and the trucks, some sea open. It was a lot of fun. So we're here in the Formula V, which I uh, haven't seen too much on the channel. I figure um, I used to not run it because you would get the uh, same combo over and over again. But this is, you know, rookie races are the only place you're going to see the Formula V. So I guess that's kind of just the way it's going to be. I did a race at uh, Rudskogen, okay, if that's how you say it, <laughs> in the Formula V not too long ago. Because that was a new combo. But hey, it's been long enough. I figure I can do some of these races again. So here we are in the Formula V. I'm gonna get some qualifying done here. We've got uh, Gianni, uh, the guy that has like 9,000 plus I rating on road. So um, he's here to win the race, as is usual. Ooh, I'm not paying enough attention. But, uh, hey, maybe we'll have a little bit of a chance. We can maybe hold on to his draft, potentially. We'll see how it goes. But we also have some guys in here that will not make it to the end of the race. Because they never do. Unfortunately. For them. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to stay out of their way. And uh, they'll wreck out at some point. And we will hopefully be able to continue on. The number three, that's not too bad. For a late night race, it is a 2.4k strength of field, top split of course. Or else uh, Gianni would not be in here with his 9,000 plus his <laughs> road eye rating. This blows my mind how that's even possible. Green, green, green. Like if he... <laughs> If he like, comes in last in one of these low strength of field races, does he just lose a thousand I rating or something? He has to lose a lot. That's kind of crazy to think about, but. We're about ourselves right now. And our qualifying is kind of clunky right there. Uh, all time optimal is not going to be too accurate because that was set with draft conditions. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and put up a uh, session optimal, and that'll be more useful the second lap. I honestly cannot decide if I like third or second gear through here. I think third might be the way to go, though. Just because second gear can get it really unsettled, and it's so it, if it's close enough anyway that I can barely tell the difference, second gear is probably not too necessary. Typically in the Formula V, you're... Uh, not shifting much anyway. So we will continue not shifting much by keeping it in third. I do like to keep it in third as well, up this hill, even though I normally shift about 6,500 down there. Those extra RPMs heading up that hill can help you get up there in this little tiny buggy that we call the Formula V. I'm not feeling particularly fast. But hopefully we'll get ourselves a decent starting spot for the race. And now we have a One more lap. session optimal to compare to from the last lap. P2. P2. Wonder who I'm behind. It's Gianni, unless more people. Oh yeah, <laughs> fourth now. So we're behind a number of people. We're actually the slowest. Sweet. So what am I talking about? I am just dirt slow, apparently. Don't get an off track there. Very easy off tracks off there. You can, like, barely have your wheels off and get an off track right there. So that's something to watch out for if you didn't know. That was much better than last lap. That's like the one big area I think I'm losing a lot of speed. Just don't have that quite figured out yet. But other than that, I think I'm doing halfway decent.
there a little bit better that time. I feel like you could probably flat foot it through that corner, but I have been lifting just a tiny bit because otherwise I end up getting an off track off the left side. And can't get off tracks during qualifying. That's bad news. So. This lap should be faster. However, first lap is a 141.4. The slowest. And I'm going to keep it in third gear here to get a little bit extra to the line. So 141.0, we'll go up a couple spots. But we are a full 1.4 seconds off of Gianni up there, who himself is half a second up on second place. And uh, the only other guy that has a higher I rating than us in here, I thought I could click that to see what his was, but I can't. So, won't matter so much as uh, so much in the race though, we'll have draft. And I'll be able to use other people as brake markers. Not hitting them, <laughs> but just watching them. So P5 in a top split road race. Can never feel too bad about that. You've got one Midwest friend in here. <laughs> Other than that, though, it looks like mostly international racers. Mostly Australian racer racers from Australia or New Zealand, <laughs> actually. That's how you know it's late at night. Just waiting on the 10. Is he doing laps? Well, his first lap did not count. That's the end of the session. P5. Okay. I guess he gave up or something, I don't know. Unless we just ran out of time and I didn't notice. Doesn't matter. We will be P5. It's okay, not too bad. Just gonna try to survive. Be patient. Guys will be trying to pass early and I'm on the cold tires and spinning, I'm sure. If you've raced the Formula V ever, you probably know this thing is dangerous on cold tires. It can snap on you real easy, so I will be anticipating that from others. I would like to get my road I rating up a little bit. I do too many like well, I haven't done a race in a few years. Sorry, I got distracted. Um I would like to get my road I rating up or uh safety rating rather at A three point five. I do so many short races that the uh, incidents I do get our bigger impact like these little sprint formula v races and mazda races and uh plus you got off tracks that are very hard to avoid a lot of the time sometimes you get them avoiding worse contact so makes it pretty difficult to keep a good safety rating Apparently, if I finish fifth, I will break even on road eye rating. I'm at 3.7 right now. Apparently, just be breaking even. <laughs> Interestingly enough. So, hey, I guess uh, we'll shoot for a top five then, right? I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with just finishing, too. But I think if I do just finish, I should be able to finish well. Yeah, dude, sword. I usually kept this at about 6,500, just like how I shift. Let's go. Green, green, green. And I'm not the greatest at launches, but it seems to get the job done. Taking it easy into turn one. Don't run over the guy ahead. Don't get hit by the guy's wrecking. Go right. Go right. You get run into from behind. On the left. Three wide. Clear. Gotta love when no one checks up for a wreck. I've been wiped out in all four races. Amazing. Alright Colton, let's see what we can salvage from this mate. That's cool. I'm 
see what our damage is, how it's going to affect the drive. Car right. Keep to the left. Clear. So, top five might be difficult now. Seems like a lot of guys were in that, though. Including the second place guy. Imagine not wrecking in the first turn. And hey, it looks like we got more people crashing, so... Yeah, just sit on the apex 20 miles an hour off pace. That'll work out. So we're having a great race so far. Maybe you guys should guys just go back to doing a rookie series or something. Maybe try the Formula B before you come race. Oh, wait. I don't know why this guy's cutting it so close. That's absolutely, unbelievably unnecessary. Clear on the right. It's hard to describe just how unnecessary that is. But go ahead. Hey guys, if you want to check on the up next, there's a new series go uh, go kart. Ten minutes left. P9. So we are ninth. Yellow flag. Got more people crashing. Get around this guy. Hopefully. No. Right side. Clear. Let's get the inside though. So we will have to wait. Hopefully we don't use too much time up trying to get past this guy. I decided to shift there because I figured we had some draft. Horribly, horribly slow through here. Car on your left. Clear. I'm sure he'll fight it. What? Why are you in my lane? Get left. away from me. Stay on the right. Still there. Hold your line. Well done. So aggressive. For reasons unknown. The car in front lap time is a 140.1 P8. Well, we made it past him. We will continue on, maybe even grab a little bit of draft from the two ahead. Heading into the corner that I am very not good at, though. I think I can get on the gats much quicker there. It's probably losing me some time. Turned in a little too soon there. Thankfully no off tracks, but it was pretty slow. Their gear up the hill. Guys are more spread out than I would have expected. You know, with draft being a thing and all. And I underdrove that horribly. At least our car's not broken. The steering might feel a little weird, but that could also just be in my head. I think I'm going to put up session last lap.
about six minutes left in the race. Slow car ahead. Okay, Colton, you're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. The number eight has crashed. That's another spot. We might still get our top five. There you are. Better through there, but still not very good. Could be much better. Like I said, I think there's you could probably, if you get the angle right, flat foot it through there. But I have not been able to get the angle right. Although the car is getting lighter, burning fuel off, and therefore more nimble. So maybe I will be able to get that done soon enough. Better through there. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. Then last lap. We have P7. P7. That lap time was 140.9. Oh, well, this was disappointing. Didn't even really get a chance to do the race normally. These guys can't make it through turn one without crashing, so that's disappointing, but still salvaging what we can get here. Starting to get that a little bit more, I think. You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 3.6. I better watch out, I almost might hit my left side on there. So I don't know if we're going to get any more crashes. The tires will be worn by now. So guys aren't uh, as likely to self-spin on their own. And it looks like they're pretty spread apart all the way up so I'm breaking too early for that corner there's no real good braking marker there so that's kind of been tough on me the fastest lap. that was a 140 hey, my fastest lap oh that got weirdly tight might have uh, turned in a little too late there Seconds. Ooh, surprised that wasn't an off track. I don't think you can get, you can go any much more than that without uh, it dinging you for it. Okay, trying to learn how to do that corner better, and I was trying to use a little bit of brake to have it turn better, but it turned too much. So, just trying to get better. I don't think I'm catching anyone ahead, so that was I was willing to take that risk. If we do pass someone, it's going to be because they wrecked. One gallon remaining. Only one gallon of fuel left. That'll take us another six laps, though. <laughs> and we are going to have maybe two left, two laps left. So that is obviously not a concern. Oh, we got some guys racing each other ahead. Maybe they'll crash each other and we can get our top five. See some smoke. Not sure what that's about. still felt weird. It's interesting that turn one feels different once the fuel kind of burns off, I think. You've got half your fuel left. B7. 
big braking zone here. Big opportunity for guys to crash. What do you know? Go left. Ah yes, just wrecked it right onto the racing line. Never mind if anyone's coming. He was fine though. I mean, I went wide because I was afraid I was going to reach him before he was able to fix that, but we're okay. It's pretty good, eh? We'll see if this guy is faster than us or not. He's pretty similar on I rating. A little bit too early of an apex there. You got about five laps of fuel left. White flag, stay smooth. Did that corner better than he did, it looks like. We gained about a ten. Could just be draft too. <laughs> White flag, last lap. Much better through there that time. I've been just stinking it up the past couple of laps. It was still slower than the guy had, so guy had's better than we are. Last lap though, they could crash each other. Guys like doing that. But, not looking like it. Probably gonna finish right here in 7th. And I guess that's okay, considering uh, we got wrecked on lap 1 slowing down for a different wreck that somebody else didn't want to slow down for. They took a wrong turn at Albuquerque and ended up somewhere other than Arca. So they were using Arca brakes in a Formula V. That's not correct. Make it to the finish, just the 1-4x bestowed upon us. No off-tracks or anything. Is what it is. Can't expect flawless racing from a low strength of field rookie race. I'm gonna go ahead and park it right away. Good job. Very good job. And we'll take a look at the incidents. So the number two. Couldn't handle turn one. And then corrects into that guy. And while that's happening, and I'm slowing down, we just get run into it from behind, because why slow down? No reason for it. Why would you? You get to finish third if you just run through somebody. He's got places to be. Behind me isn't one of them. So he gets to go have himself a fun race. I swear, it's just drones, man. I gotta stay on the racing line. I gotta go fast. It's race car time. I don't get it. I mean, he not only runs through me, he still goes fast enough to hit the next guy. And then he's got people running into him, too. Like... I know you don't use the brakes all too much in the Formula V. You kind of have to in some of these corners in this car, or this combo, but... You know, this is a situation you probably should use it. Just saying. So the two sits there and waits. Still gets fourth.
He uh, reaches us and then very aggressively passes us as we uh, struggle to get around anybody. Still wrecking in the back here. Lap one. We've made it to lap two. Still guys on cold tires spinning it. I think I spun a couple times, I think, maybe. Yeah. He's having some trouble. There we go. I think he just gives up after that. This guy spins. But gets it going fast enough. Could I have just taken the corner normally? Eh, probably. Could have been right behind him, could have grabbed onto his draft, and probably would have finished in the same spot anyway, but... Doesn't matter. Hey, and that's it! So we managed to get caught in one of the few cautions. All of them seemed to happen early on. But, uh, alright, P7. We lose 33i rating. Gonna lose some safety rating, probably. As short of a race as it is. And uh, the guy who was always going to win won by 11 seconds. Actually, that's not as much, it's not as big of a gap as I would have thought. But, all right, that'll do it. Formula V, Bolton Park. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, for what it was, I wish we could have done some actual racing, but uh, not allowed. <laughs> so, I'll see you next time.